within minutes of each other. Mr. Tan Hien Lian arrived at around 11.15 a.m. accompanied by his wife and supporters. About 20 minutes later, Dr. Tony Tan's car was spotted pulling up at the elections department and then driving off. The vehicle came back shortly after when Mr. Tan had left. In a Facebook posting, Dr. Tan said he had circled round the block because he did not want to disrupt Mr. Tan, who looked like he was in the middle of making a statement or holding a press conference. Dr. Tan gave brief remarks to the media after submitting his papers. This election, um, the most important people are Singaporeans, so we have to find out uh, what are their aspirations, uh, their needs, and their views. And that's what I'm doing now. Earlier in the day, Mr. Tan Kin Lian had chaired a news conference to elaborate on his campaign platform. He said he's applying for a certificate of eligibility under a special clause. Under the law, candidates include those who have served at least three years as a chairman or CEO of a statutory board or company with a paid-up capital of at least 100 million Sing dollars or served in a similar capacity. Mr. Tan said in all fairness, he will qualify since he has nurtured an insurance cooperative for 30 years with a shared capital of 500 million and assets of $17 billion. You couldn't just uh, say, because you're not a company, you don't qualify. Because I think the responsibility matches many times uh, what uh, other candidates would qualify. So I'm quite confident I will uh, receive the uh, approval. Mr. Tan again described himself as an independent candidate without the baggage of any political affiliations and said he suited to represent the people. Observers have stressed that the powers of the president under the constitution are limited with no authority to initiate policies. Now, candidates have up to three days after the writ is issued to submit their paperwork. Now, based on past polls, the Presidential Elections Committee issues the Certificate of Eligibility just a day before nomination day. Now, Singapore's presidential elections must take place by end August. And it looks set to be a three-man race. The former MP Dr. Tan Jing Bok telling Channel News Asia all his paperwork is ready and that he just needs to decide on a day to submit his forms.